Did you know that it's actor Bette Midler who's mostly responsible for the 2022 film Hocus Pocus 2 actually happening? In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Midler said that when she started to realize how popular the original film had become, she was quote, surprised, and started making calls. After going online, she stated, I'd never seen so much Hocus Pocus merch. As I watched it progress, I'd call the studio once a year to ask, how about it? Did you know that the 2022 sequel, Hocus Pocus 2, actually hints towards a third film in the series? If you look closely during the post credit scene, Cobweb sits next to a box that says BF Candle No. 2, which stands for Black Flame. This could hint that there's another film on the way, possibly centering on Becca, Izzy, and Cassie, since Becca is now the owner of Salem's book. Did you know that actor Thora Birch was actually asked to return for her role in the 2022 film Hocus Pocus 2? Unfortunately, she had to decline due to scheduling conflicts. Quote, I was working on something else when they were filming, otherwise I was definitely going to be there on set with the girls. Everybody knows that Sarah from the Hocus Pocus series has a special thing for spiders. But did you know that if you look closely at Sarah's dress in Hocus Pocus 2, you could see that not only are the sleeves made to look like spider webs, but on the front of her dress there are actual tiny spiders as well. Did you know that as of right now, there are no plans to turn Hocus Pocus into a trilogy? It appears, however, if the conversation ever comes up, the main characters would be perfectly willing to return. Kathy Najimy says, quote, I guess never say never, but I feel grateful that we got to do it again. Sarah Jessica Parker said, quote, of course, I'd be happy to have a conversation. It just depends on what Kathy and Bette want. And Bette Midler said, I'd love to have a franchise, especially a character I love playing. If there was a third one, of course I'd sign on, but I don't know. Did you know that before the sequel, Hocus Pocus 2 was actually green lit, it was announced that a made-for-TV remake of the original film would be created for the Freeform Network without the involvement of the original cast. That production was scrapped, however, when Hocus Pocus 2 began development. Did you know that the 2022 film Hocus Pocus 2 is the very first Disney movie to use the new Disney 100 logo? It celebrates 100 years of Disney, which takes place in 2023. Did you know that actor Bette Midler has actually said that the character of Winifred from the Hocus Pocus series is her favorite character that she's played in her entire career? Not only that, but she also said that making the 2022 film Hocus Pocus 2 has been I think it's one of the greatest joys of my life. Did you know that if you look closely in the 2022 sequel, Hocus Pocus 2, you can see that there are eyes everywhere in the film, from the clothing and the decor to other places as well. This is likely a nod to the most iconic eye in the series, the book. Did you know that on Michael Rosenbaum's Inside of You podcast, actor Doug Jones actually said that the wig he wears as Billy Butcherson in the 2022 film Hocus Pocus 2 is actually the same wig he wore in the first movie? Did you know that reportedly, based on hours watched domestically in the first three days, as of October 2022, Hocus Pocus 2 is the number one film premiere ever on Disney Plus in the United States? Did you know that the name of the high school, Samuel Skelton High School, in Hocus Pocus 2 is actually named after a real historical figure from Salem, Massachusetts? Skelton was the first Puritan pastor from the First Church in Salem, founded on August 6, 1629.